Hey there, this is Patrick at Geocron, and we're going to bypass your internal power supply with a newer, better power supply that goes on the outside of the clock. And here are the instructions on how to do that. First of all, this is what we're going to send you. We're going to send you some twist ties and some crimp and some um, crimping ends, and then uh, these little things and a switch so that you can switch your Geocron on and off once you're done. The tools that you are going to need for sure, oh, we're also sending you the power supply stuff over there. So the tools that you have to have are a, um, a wire cutter by which you can also strip and, uh, and, a, and a Alan, what size is this? One millimeter. One millimeter. Tools that would be useful to have are a real crimper, maybe a large wire crimper, uh, clipper, a crimper and a thin walled 14 millimeter. All right, so let's get started. And I have a tendency of getting that pretty tight in there, so here's the trick how I do it. We're removing the switchblade here. hate mail for this one. Let me see where you're clipping back there. You're disconnecting the zip tie. This, oh, the zip ties. I'm actually going to take it from the back because there are no wires in the way of the back. Ooh, that's good. You get more room. One. All right, good. We are removing the strain relief. The strain relief. This is gonna go flying. Dope. <laughs> so there are three primary white wires. You got the circuit board, mm -hmm. you got to the light, and then you have from the power from the power supply goes up behind the map motor plate. Uh -huh. You don't want to cut that wire with as much slack. And this is the white wire? Mm -hmm. white you, wire? Are you cutting all three white wires? No. No. Just the one that goes behind the map motor plate. Okay. I will then cut the red wires out. Because they don't do anything anymore. All right, so one white, two reds, and one green. Yep. We're inserting the power jack. The hole like so. This washer goes on. This is the black washer? Yep. Okay. Black fiber washer. Yeah. The higher up you can get it with your fingers, not being able to see what you're doing, uh -huh. the better it will be. Uh -huh. And then you're going to affix it with that nut. Now this is where the thin walled driver, 14 millimeter driver, comes in handy. Otherwise, I don't even want to. It's not a lot of room in there. Yeah. I'm going to peer under here and see if I can. Can you picture that? And one. Maybe that's helpful. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> it's 
threading the nut, the nut up to the two red wires that were already attached to the switch. You're now tightening down the 14 millimeter nut set up against the fiber washer, which is set up against the steel frame. So that it's nice and tight. Just finger tight, right? I guess as tight as I recently can. I don't want to strip the uh, yeah. jack out. Usually I'll stick a little spot of super glue on there, but for this I don't think it's possible. And this is where the external power supply is going to plug in, yep. like a laptop. Stripping the, stripping the cut wires that come out of the clock. We're giving it a lot of room there. Oh, there's two in there. Now you can do this with a wire cutter, but you have to be real careful. It's nice if you have an actual stripper. Alrighty. Will I cut there or go ahead? And yeah, we're gonna connect these. Does it matter to what which of the red ones? It does. Okay, how, how are we gonna know? One red one is marked with black magic marker. Okay. And that one goes to the black. Black magic marker goes to the black lead. Polarity, plus and minus. Alrighty. Before you do those, can you open up your hands so we can see how those go together? Black goes to black, red goes to red. Gotcha. From these up, they're about a uh, fingertip space. And caps. I found because these are so petite, sometimes it works best just to set them in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've had push that it all the way too. up, and then from. Now, you can also do that with a pair of needle nose pliers, but you got to go really tight on them. Yeah, I'm too lazy to try. <laughs> Alrighty. You might be asking yourself, what happened to the green wire that we cut? Uh, that green wire is just abandoned. Okay, what's next? I'll zip tie it all together. Just kind of keep everything contained. Replace the zip tie here. We're just going to put the closure plate back together again. Tuck that kind of down there. Get it to start. There's a better way to do it. There's a hole back there. There you go. Come on. Okay. And then center the shaft in the hole. That shaft centered in the hole. Gotcha. Then tighten them so the plate mm -hmm. cannot move. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you're rubbing on the shaft, eventually you'll burn out something. Or I'll hook on the uh, catch right there, and you won't be able to set it or something. Yeah. Make sure you have clearance around the shaft and the cover.
we're gonna put the knob back on. You want to have a, enough gap that you can see between it and the switch plate so it is not rubbing. And now that you got the switch plate on, you can put the cover plate back on, of course. And then, remember we sent you the power supply. This should look familiar. This goes right there. Plug it into the wall, get power to it, and your Geochron will work like new. What does that look like? I don't know, let's take a look. Hmm. Ben, thank you for your help. Oh, yes. Right. So, there it is. Here's that plug I just put on. Let's see if we can get a better picture over here. There it is.